Hey everybody, this is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com here in San Diego, California. If you're looking to purchase a new or used Vespa, check us out on the web, VespaMotorsport.com or come down to our showroom and check out the scooters in person. So today I'm gonna to talk about the differences between a Primavera 50 and a Primavera 150. I'm not gonna talk about the different trim levels that they have as this Primavera 50 is a Touring. You can also get the Touring trim in the 150. This 150 is a Sport trim, which I do not have in the 50. Uh, there's also Yacht Club. There's plenty of other uh, different variations, different colors. I'm not gonna talk about that. I'm just gonna talk about the main difference being the engine and some of the other small subtle features that are different between the 50cc and the 150. So first of all, what's the price premium for a 150cc versus a 50cc? Uh, obviously you're getting an engine, a gasoline engine that's three times larger on a 150, how much more does that cost? It's $1,350 extra to get the 150cc. The sex, second question you would be asking is, well, what's the performance difference? Obviously the 150 performs much, much better. Uh, being an engine that's three times larger in displacement, doesn't give you three times more performance, but on the 150, you're gonna have a top speed of just over 65 miles an hour, while the 50 tops out right about 45 miles an hour. So about 20, maybe even 25 miles an hour faster, the 150's just, just enough to get you legally on the highway. Uh, 50cc is more of the urban um, and just community kind of runabout. But being the touring model, you could take it on a tour cross country. That may be my next uh, challenge. Um, the fuel economy between the two, obviously the 50cc gets better fuel economy. It Typically they get between 75, 80 to as high as 100, maybe even better if you rode it very easily. Most of the time you ride a 50 full throttle. The 150s, you can back off the throttle much more. Uh, typically these models get 65, 75, and as high as about 80 miles per gallon. They both have the same fuel tank capacity. They're both fuel injected motors that don't have a carburetor that needs to be cleaned out. Start very easy with the fuel injection system. A very similar system between the two, but uh, optimized for the different size engines. Uh, they're both three valve engines. And is what that means is there's two intake valves. That's the valves that allow the air and fuel to go into the engine in one exhaust valve. Uh, there's different engine configurations, sometimes two valve or four valve. Uh, not always necessarily relying on how much performance you get. But typically a four valve motor will breathe a little bit better and have higher horsepower. But a three valve can sometimes give you better torque. Uh, the 150 performs very good for its class of scooter. Uh, Weight-wise, they're nearly identical between the two scooters. I can barely tell the difference between the two scooters weight-wise. They're both the same seat height, same tire size, both 12-inch tires. The 150, you're gonna get two extra bonus features on the braking system. Both have rear drum brakes, which is plenty adequate for just the rear braking performance. You don't use much rear braking on a scooter. Drum brakes, nice and low maintenance. But if you move up to the 150, you're gonna get the larger double piston caliper that uses much larger brake pads. It has a, a stainless steel braided line that gives you a much stronger brake feel. And the most important safety feature of the scooter, it has anti-lock braking system, like a full electronic anti-lock braking system on the 150. The 50cc doesn't have that. It has an identical fork arrangement, but has a smaller brake caliper with smaller brake shoes. It performs perfectly for this speed of scooter, but being the faster 150, it's good that you have a little extra braking performance. Appearance wise, pretty much the same, just slight trim differences between the two. This sport model supports a color liquid crystal screen. Functionality is okay on it. I've talked about it in the past videos. Uh, nice and clear and easy to read. If you move on to the 50, only comes with 
the classic looking analog instrumentation up to 50 miles per hour. If you move on to the standard Primavera or Sprint with the analog instrumentation, it goes up to 80 miles an hour indicated on the speedometer. That's not your top speed, that's just what's indicated on the dash. 150cc models along with Electrica and the GTS include a key fob for popping the seat. So you push the button, you can hear an electronic actuator pops the seat and gives you access to the fuel and also your storage. On the 50cc model, you just have to remove the key from the ignition, move on to the left side, open up the, the seat. Now look at these two, look at the underseat buckets. Uh, one has a better storage solution than the other. I'll show you the 150 versus the 50. So the 150 has a nice carpeted rug, but it does have this extra hump here for the emissions control system that takes away from the space for the under seat bucket. So it doesn't quite fit as many full size helmets underneath the seat bucket. On the 50cc model, being a a simpler motor design with less uh, emissions control components, they're able to put the full size seat bucket. Doesn't include the little carpet rug in here, but you do get a larger under seat bucket. Same size fuel, same fuel capacity. Obviously the 50 has a little bit more range. Moving on to the engines, the obvious one being the displacement. Mufflers look nearly identical, even though they're different. This one having an Acropovic aftermarket exhaust system, but the standard exhaust system typically looks like this one found on this Primavera 50. The belt covers are vastly different. Obviously, I like the look of the 150cc belt cover over the 50cc kind of generic Piaggio belt cover that they use on the 50. So that pretty much sums up all the subtle differences and the major ones, you know, being the engine size and speed and performance. Keep in mind different markets. Sometimes it's more appealing to buy a 50cc model. Uh, you can ride this with a regular car license in some markets, you know, some states. Um, California, need a full motorcycle license whether you ride this 50cc model or the 150. Accessory wise, they're all universal between the two scooters, minus the engine parts. That Acropovic pipe is not gonna fit the 50cc motor. Um, but stuff like the windshield, racks, the side stand to make it easier to, to park the scooter, uh, rear racks, top cases, uh, crash bars, all universal between the bodies because the bodies are identical between these two scooters. So that pretty much sums up all the differences between the 50cc and the 150cc Primavera, or matter of fact, the Sprint. They also have a 50 and a 150 version. Until next time, this is Robot from Vespa Motorsport here in San Diego, California. Uh, check us out on the web, scooterwest.com. It's the first time coming across this video. Subscribe to our channel and search Vespa Motorsport, and you'll see my complete cornucopia of Vespa related videos. Have fun, be safe, and keep on riding forever.